So please stay tuned to, you know what, let's just start over the whole thing. Hola amores, como están hoy? So in today's video, I'm going to be styling animal print. We got cow print, snake skin print, zebra print, and cheetah print. These are the main prints that are trending and everywhere right now. So I'm going to be styling four different looks for you guys. We're going to be mixing patterns. We're going to be doing monochromatic looks. We're going to be doing just a lot of fun stuff. And I kind of want to style these ways in a different manner that I hopefully you guys haven't seen yet or just differently than what I see on Instagram. So please stay tuned for this. So let's get into a video. Okay guys, so this first look right here, we have this cheetah print see-through top and I'm wearing it with a vintage like Versace kind of print windbreaker jacket that I got at a vintage shop as well as my guest jeans that are two-toned that I got from guest.com, not the vintage shop, so don't get too excited that I'm using one. And I'm wearing my Topshop booties that I got from Topshop, obviously. <laughs> yes, so I think that this look is amazing. I love mixing this Versace like print with this cheetah print because it's basically like in the same color family. So we're getting like a subtle cheetah print situation going on. We don't have like crazy cheetah, cheetah print colors. Um, we don't have like the typical cheetah print color. This is a black and gray type of situation. So it goes really well with this jacket because it has undertones of black. Like this whole jacket underneath is black, but the prints on top of it is what makes it really the thing, the statement piece. So I think that mixing these type of prints together goes flawlessly. When it comes to mixing prints, you really need to find like the base color. They all have to have the same base color. Otherwise your whole outfit is just gonna look extremely whack. So when it comes to mixing prints, guys, remember, this has to have the same base color or similar. Something needs to be a little bit more quieter than the other prints. So it can't be like two extremely loud prints together. Put like a quiet print next to a loud print and then you will literally be like the fashion icon of the room, okay? Trust me, I've done it before. This uh, is my first look. Guys, I also forgot to mention in my last video that if you're not too confident in mixing prints, you can always opt out for buying something that already has mixed prints in it. There's a ton of stuff out there like Zara, um, Topshop, um, Misguided, ASOS, all of that. They have stuff like that. So this I actually got from Depop. This is like a vintage piece. So this has zebra print on it and cheetah print on it. Yeah. So it has both of those prints on it, which makes it super easy to wear. You can just wear an all black outfit and then boom, you're like, you're it. So you're already mixing prints without even trying. So you don't want to think too much about it. Buy something with mixed prints. For the next outfit, I'm wearing a zebra print yellow, super bright and annoying, annoying in your face top along with these jeans. So I got this from Zara and I got these jeans from Urban Outfitters. And then I'm wearing my Jester Air Force Ones with them. Super like pretty, really easy to put together. But the thing that makes this outfit really work is because this yellow top matches the yellow that's in these contrasted pants that I got from Urban, how I, like I just mentioned, which makes like, I put a lot of thought into this outfit. Like I bought this specific yellow zebra print to match with these specific yellow pants. Like, no, that did not work out that way. I was just like, oh, one day I figured out that they match. So when you're like mixing, I mean, so when you're wearing zebra print or any type of print, just like look for something similar that you have in your closet that you could like match with it. And people are gonna think that you thought really hard about it when you really didn't, you just threw something together. So this next look is me just making outfits easy for you guys while wearing animal prints. So it really, like, it really looks like you tried. Like sis, I put this outfit together in like a minute in my head because I already knew what I had in my closet. And I'm like, this goes. So yeah, this look is super easy and I hope you guys take inspiration. All right guys, so for this third look, I am just styling my snakeskin print jacket that I actually thrifted. 
with like a pop of color in the outfit. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that you can wear like any type, like let's say you're wearing cheetah print, right? And so you're just wearing like a cheetah print jacket or whatever, and you, you just want to pop a color. So maybe your pants are black and then you can make your shirt like super bright. So what I'm saying is have one pop of color in your outfit along with that pop of animal print. For this instance, I paired this snakeskin print jacket that I got from a thrift store. And then I'm wearing this white shirt that I got from H&M that I told you guys I don't like how it fits on me, but I still have it because I still haven't bought another white t-shirt. Go figure. And then I'm wearing these mint pants that I actually thrifted as well. These I got from Depop, actually. And then I'm wearing my turbo green ones because they're not the same mint green, but they're in the same family. And I really like that it's kind of like off like that. It's not like super matchy matchy. Like they, there's days that I have that I want to be extremely matchy matchy and days where I don't want to match at all. So this is one of those looks, one of those moments. But, um, yeah, so this is my third recommendation of wearing animal prints. So I really hope you guys like this outfit because I'm about to wear this outfit in public now. Like when it comes to YouTube videos, I feel like I put these outfits together for the video, but I have never worn them in real life. And I'm like, dang, this is cute. Okay, I got style or whatever, okay. All right, so for my last and final print and look is the infamous cow print. So I'm wearing this jacket this cow print jacket obviously that I got from Forever 21 and I really liked it because the cow print was super subtle and that it was brown and kind of like an off-white not black and white so then I paired it with this crew neck that I got from H&M as well as the same color joggers from Nike and I did not plan that they were gonna match together and I'm great and grateful that I have a set because I didn't want to buy the whole Nike set because it's way too much money, even with my discount. So I'm wearing these and then I'm wearing my Air Max 95s and they're a two-tone. They have like gray on the top and like this leather tan looking on the bottom mid and then obviously the white sole. So my reasoning behind this outfit, this is a monochromatic outfit. So when styling, especially cow print, I'm kind of very careful and specific with the things that I wear because I don't want to make it look too cheesy. You can make this print look very cheesy, very tacky, really fast. So when with cow print, I would opt out to buying this kind of cow print, more of like the brown and off-white sporadic across the clothing, not like all over the place. I think that's a little bit too tacky for me, my personal taste. Um, so with this jacket, I decided to pair like a whole one color look because this is brown and off-white. I don't know about you guys, but I feel really weird when I wear black with brown, like something like this. I would not wear a black outfit. I would not wear anything black with this. I would either wear like an all light colored outfit, off-white tan outfit, or an all denim look, or an all look that matches like with this brown so like mint and brown look really good together so that's why i decided to pair this outfit and i really like how it turned out and i think i'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow actually so yeah i really like this whole concept um definitely like with the sneakers definitely help pull the whole look together even though these sneakers have no color none of the doesn't match at all what's in the outfit but it still just makes it the whole look just look seamlessly together so i really hope you guys enjoyed this outfit add in there that if you're not feeling bold enough to wear like a cow print jacket somewhere you can always go for like a cow print blouse so i got this from from nasty gal and this print is also like the the brown and the white type of look and you can also tie this up front so you can cinch it in really nice but i really like this blouse like this goes with a lot as well i wear this with like some denim jeans i don't wear black pants with these i would wear like an off-white type of pant or I would wear like a mint type of color or something else just don't wear black with this because I, I wouldn't recommend it this is not my personal taste but yeah so if you're not feeling bold enough definitely get a blouse or something small to start off with to see if you actually like the trend or not Pero, 
Muchas gracias. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys like these little styling videos that I have. I actually enjoy doing them a lot. I just come up with these outfits on the spot because that's how I get my best look. And also follow me on Instagram at Deb the Cuban. And also check out my blog, VidaDeModa.com. Muchos besos. And have a great day or night or whatever time of the day you're watching this. Peace.